Hello and welcome to another episode of Better You Life Coaching. I'm your host, Dre, and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. So, today's topic has been inspired by a few personal conversations I've had over the last couple of weeks. Um, it's about grief. And it's never easy to lose someone. And it's definitely a process to getting back to feeling like you. And this video today is going to be about just that. Um, a few tips to kind of get through that tough time. First things first, when it comes to a significant loss of a person, um, take that time and be okay with not being okay. It's okay for you to be shaken, for you to be sad, for you to experience a litany of emotions. And it takes time to work through them and process them. That really is one of the most important things you can do is truly acknowledge how you are feeling. Um, the closer a person is, generally the, the harder it stings. So, you know, acknowledge how you're feeling and give your, yourself the proper space necessary. Um, one thing I feel has been a detriment, just speaking for myself personally, when I've experienced grief, I've tried to run from it. And it has led to me burying myself, taking more things onto my plate so that I don't have uh, the time to process those emotions, but they always come out. And you, you know, uh, I was telling the person I was speaking with, you know, you want to acknowledge it and you want to make sure you, you're tampering things properly. I'm like, you don't want to be the person sitting in the, the, the Burger King drive through or the, the Walmart parking lot that everything's going good and then it just catches up to you and you end up breaking down in public. Um, one thing, the next thing would be, uh, scale back some of your responsibilities temporarily. If you're a person that is very, uh, relied upon, make sure that you set the appropriate boundaries so that you can effectively grieve. Um, one thing a lot of people try to do, just like I just said, is bulldoze through it. And you can't always do that. Uh, it's not healthy to, to always do that. So whether it be taking a week to whatever it may need, whatever you may need uh, from your job, from civic organizations, um, and whatever else you may be involved in, just give people a, a brief heads up, let them know. I think we all kind of understand that it can be difficult to lose someone, especially someone close to us. And if somebody needs a week or two, um, it really shouldn't be too big of a deal for you to get that week or two that you need for your own personal health and healing. Uh, last, I would say, reflect on the positive and just reflect on your memories in general with that person. One thing that always brings me comfort um, is remembering those past experiences. Uh, my grandfather, uh, I would say it's probably the most significant loss I've experienced thus far in my life. And losing him shook me. It honestly shook me for years. And if I had known then what I know now, like I, I would have told my mom and dad, like I, I probably need to go go to some counseling. Um, but one of the things that even to this day still brings me comfort is he was a very wise man and he left me a lot of lessons and he left behind a lot of wisdom. And we had a lot of great memories in general. And there's re really honestly not a day that goes by that I don't think about him. And it's simply because with everything that he taught me or all of those memories that we had, 
throughout the course of a day there's some random thing that triggers a memory of them. And when you have a, a rich legacy like that from a person that you're connected to, um, enjoy that. Not everybody can say that they have that. Not everybody is able to have such an impact on somebody. So one thing is if you're grieving, they were significant to you. We generally don't grieve things that we don't care about. So reflect on those things, those memories, those experiences. Honestly, even good and bad. It's, you know, sometimes like uh, their experiences. And sometimes even the bad experiences have, have good in them. Like uh, my grandfather only disciplined me physically one time. But looking back on it now, it's one of those things it's like, yo, I, stupid. But uh, next point kind of ties into the last one. If that person had a significant cause or something that they contributed to in their life, um, like say, for instance, if they were engaged in a particular organization or donated time and money to a particular cause, sometimes adopting or taking up parts of that cause or donating some of your time to it can be a, a good way. Um, it's one way to kind of help keep the memory of them alive and keep things going and as well as honor what they made that life about. Um, one thing I can speak from anecdotally from my, my own family is a couple years ago, we lost one of our dear aunts, but she had started a prayer call. And that prayer call did not cease when she passed. And I'm very thankful for it not ceasing because there's been a lot of days where I've had really rough days and to hop on and hear my family and get a word um, has really been on time and has really been the buttress that my soul needed on some days. So that's just one example. You know, it, it could be if somebody was a veteran, they might have volunteered at the VA or to certain veterans groups, they might have big brothers, big sisters, or mentored, or done whatever, um, you know, and if they were seriously dedicated to a cause like that, I think that's a great way of helping work through your grief, honoring them, and allowing yourself to kind of process and work through those emotions, and also in the process of it, you may discover a new passion of yours as well. Um, I find that Typically, not always, but a lot of times we share a lot of similarities with the, the people that are around us. And, you know, giving something new uh, uh, a try could be something that helps you relax, could be something that fulfills you and enhances your own life. Uh, next point, I would say if you truly find that after a particular period of time you're still struggling you're still breaking down it's still difficult to get through uh i know this is at this point it's kind of like uh maybe getting into meme status but get counseling get help it's okay to not be okay and whenever we lose somebody significant it's just that we lost somebody significant and you can't paper over that. It takes time to heal. You need help to heal. If you got a scratch, yeah, you might go in your cupboard and put a Band-Aid on it. But if you broke your bone, you probably going to go to the hospital. So, you know, find yourself a good counselor. Find somebody that you can trust uh, that's able to help you work through those emotions. And finally... I just like to leave you with this. Um, one thing that has always helped me when I've lost somebody, it's a lyric that comes from uh, a song. Uh, it goes, time heals all wounds, but it's still leaving a mark. And I always took that line and interpreted it as, you will get through whatever you're going through, but that experience will shape you. That experience will change you. 
and going through grief, whether it be a lost one, I mean, you know, whether it be somebody walking out of our lives, uh, being disconnected from them in some significant way, uh, it's a process. And never lose sight that it's a process. And take it day by day, step by step. Keep positive people in your corner. Keep positive people around you. And you will most definitely get through it. Peace. I hope uh, some of the nuggets I share can help you through your grieving process. Dre from Better You, I'm out. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me.